moving on to the next guys we're already through this is our eighth one we get to uh we're going through here we're gonna wrap this up with this section up with the fuck me award that's not what that says (laughs) (laughs) you misspelled it this is oh shit (laughs) and let's see yeah nominees actually folks were (laughs) kind of skewed so we got nuclear throne it's too bad that doesn't form so a middle finger. So <laughs> what's the description? Of this, what's the description of this category? Oh, excuse me. Thank you, Jordan, for paying attention. Because I'm thinking more than uh, I ever expected. Nillin from Remember Me. <laughs> Fuck me <laughs> award. <laughs> That's their. I don't know, man. When, yeah. she bends, yeah. when she bends over, it gets all distorted. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is the game that beat the hell of you, beat the hell out of you that you still love. Oh, okay. And we've got nuclear throne. Antichamber, desktop dungeons. How did antichamber beat the hell out of you? Just <laughs> racking just brain, existing. just racking your brain. Yeah, because like, you're in your brain. Because you're, <laughs> you're an idiot. Desktop chamber. <laughs> Rogue <laughs> legacy. Dark. Souls. You should feel bad. <laughs> Tiny barbarian. Yeah. God, that was hard. Other nominees. Are these worth fighting for? Gunpoint. No. Legend of Dungeon. No. Monaco. Fire Emblem Awakening. Kind of. Sir, you are being hunted. <laughs> Volgar the Viking. Eldritch. And Payday 2. How about uh, Valda's story? For beating the hell out of I didn't That'd get that be, impression from I what I played. I have I have given up twice just because <laughs> I've gotten so pissed off at how hard it is. Uh, yeah, but I think there's elements of that that are, there's some control iffiness. Like, I, I feel the same way about Valda's story, but I think it's not because it's intentionally like that. I think they've just, there's some optimi- or some. There's some weird stuff about the controls. <laughs> yeah, because I've been sliding off ledges <laughs> yeah. way more, than I, may, risk way more than I yeah. want to be. Right in vote for Risk of Rain. Yeah, r- yeah, Risk of that Rain. That should be there. Rain. Brothers um, beats the hell out of you emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go back, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that game, you're just like, man. Oh, that's true, me. yeah. You, you definitely don't want to go through that again. <laughs> just like, fuck um, you, games. <laughs> <laughs> Let's think of another one. Uh, Spelunky's not in consideration this year. It's a one last year. It's true, though. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keep, Daily yeah, Challenges make a strong it. case, but we're counting it as the 2012 release. Um, all right. Let's, uh, Let's cut them. Let's cut them. Oh, man. Tiny Barbarian. Man, I tough. almost just, <laughs> just quit that game in a rage. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> enthusiasm. But I wise, wanted to beat it. I wanted to. Enthusiasm-wise, Nuclear Throne's the first one I cut. Um, I could yeah. I could cut even though I think I voted for it anti chamber. Because <laughs> I'd be okay with those two. I think the other ones are really strong. Because it was hard, and I do like it. But after you beat it, is there any? Going I could back. I could yeah. I mean, after you figure, I may have given up on it. I don't know. I gave up on it. <laughs> Might play a lot of games. Okay, here is does Rogue Legacy beat the hell out of you? Like it's I'm not, it's, not it's, in the yes way. No. Like I never felt beat up by it. Like I felt like no. And the progress yeah, takes that away. That's from you that's. Too. Huh. And, huh. But risk of rain. I would take that risk off. Of, risk of rain. Risk of rain can still just kick your ass. Like yeah, risk of rain literally does it. Because yeah, even more when you lose and like rogue legacy, like you're still list. you're still moving list. forward. I, I want to go for tidy barbarian because it's a it's an old school vote for me. But like. Yeah. My wish to persevere and yeah. the tightness of the controls. Yeah, yeah. T- Tiny Barbarian has my vote. Um, it has mine as well. Yeah. What, what are you? You go with Risk of Rain? Is that your? I'm Risk of Rain. Because you're game. all hey, by you yourself. Write in, man. I know. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't get it on the list in the first place. But of so, those three games, so longevity of Risk of Rain is my question, and I can't speak to it yet because I've just really started to get into it. Like, there are, to keep going back for it. It's got an addictive nature to it and all the different items you get. Everything's kind of random. The levels are kind of randomized in terms of their layouts, not so much the order you go through. But playing through the game, there are maybe 10 different classes and you have to meet certain requirements to unlock them and you can play it with other people too. But the thing that makes me want to put it on this list is the fact that as time goes on, the longer you take, like you want to build yourself up, but the longer you take, that difficulty continues to spike and spike until it reaches its just full limit and enemies have way too much health. There's tons of them. And I was probably just lucky by, by the fact that I even beat it in that 40-minute time. Yeah. 
That was the first time I had played it. Can you the first keep night, coming back to that game? Mm-hmm. You can't keep coming back to Because Tiny this Barbarian, yeah. I mean, you kind of just... I finished Tiny Barbarian and I was done. Like you, you for keep, years more. You keep, wor- it, you keep it working keep, at it. Is it but keep you, coming back like to continually play or it's you keep I'm coming gonna, back to like finish I'm gonna it? Like I'm going to get this. Yeah, it's, yes. like, it's like this game is... Because there are games it. where I'm like, this game is too hard. I don't even want to finish it. Yeah. But Tiny Barbarian would be a game that I'm like, this is challenging, but I still want to come back and finish it. Yeah. Type of thing. Yeah. And that's kind of how I... Like I, I hate how much work this is, but man, I'm going to... Because... I'm going to get this done. Because I mean the whole the whole replayability thing. So, I think there are, a, no are only a select few games that actually have infinite replayability. Right. Yeah, that's that's basically the argument. We're, sounds like we're down to these two anyway. I think so. So does the, the finiteness of Tiny Barbarian hold it back? I like I said, I'm, it's an old school vote for me. It's mm-hmm. like I, yeah. I and you really enjoy the challenge of that game and. Um, it sounds like Risk of Rain doesn't have to be challenging. Like, it will wind up challenging at some point. I don't think you can finish so, it without it getting to a hard no. difficulty. So like the, I don't know how. Is it like Binding of Isaac where you just have to get the right combination of random power-ups to beat it? That helps, but I don't know. But, I mean, it is, is it a game where you could actually get good at it to a point where... You could yeah. sit down and beat it. Those are questions I guess I don't know yeah. the answer to. Yeah. I might have gotten lucky when I beat it. Because that game's got multiplayer, right? Risk of Rain does yeah. have yeah. two Yeah, the multiplayer side is cool. I mean, but like you could have other people in there who are really yeah. good helping you out. Yeah. But What's it took me several attempts to beat Risk of tiny, Rain. Tiny, tiny, I'm still tiny, tiny barbarian. I will not go to tiny, tiny but I think I'm losing. Tiny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, tiny is pretty, yeah. I think Risk of Rain put up a hell of a fight for a right in so yeah can't take that tiny barbarian Fuck me award goes to <laughs> tiny barbarian dx <laughs> the finalist desktop dungeons and risk of rain